at the end of the uh, 60s, beginning of the 70s, two biochemists, one of Stanford, whose name is Coy, and one of the uh, University of California at San Francisco, whose name is Boyer, put their mental and also laboratory results together to, well, to create the fundamental method of genetic engineering. You have a donor, maybe you or me, maybe an animal, maybe a plant. You take a gene, you know what that gene controls uh, in the body, for example, controls the production of insulin. You transfer that gene in a bacteria, well, children, and you do that in a certain way. And that bacteria starts to, be, to, to, to produce the same produce that the gene control in the initial organism. It is the way that for the first time we have been able to produce large quantities of insulin completely pure because it was human insulin. It was not uh, the pig insulin, for example, that was used before to treat uh, the people who suffer from diabetes. So that was something rather extraordinary. And they started to write a paper. That's a normal reaction of scientists. The university said, oh, stop. We want to patent. We want to have money from that. Uh, you can get a lot of money from that. And they discussed. And they went to a compromise. Cohen and Boyer said, OK, we will patent and we will delay our publication for one year. Just if you want the patent to be Accept. But no exclusivity, contrary to what, for example, the uh, genetics has always called. No exclusivity. The license will be available for anybody prepared to pay for it, and we don't want that the fee should be too high because we want to disseminate as largely as possible. Roughly, uh, the universities ask for free and they compromise on one. And much more interesting, not for profit, research institutes and universities will pay nothing. 